Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back In this semester, you will be introduced to some basic of calculus But before we proceed to differentiation and integration Let's discuss a little bit about one fundamental topic in calculus That is limit You've learned about function in the previous semester In fact, you've seen function even in your high school Let's say we have a function that is fx equals to x plus 2 in function, if you want to find f2, this just means that we are going to find the value of fx when x is equal to 2. That is why to find f2, we are just going to substitute this x with 2. So here we're going to have 2 plus 2, which equals to 4. But in limits, we want to find the value of fx when x is really, really, really close to 2, but not 2 itself. In mathematical language, we just need to find the value of fx when x is approaching 2. We can write this as limit x approaching 2 for the function fx. And since we already know that the function fx here is x plus 2, we can also write this as limit for x approaching 2 for the function x plus 2. So the keyword for limit is approaching 2 and the keyword for function is x equals to 2. Most of the time you will see that finding fx when x approaching 2 and finding fx when x is equal to 2 are the same. And that's not really interesting, isn't it? So, before we go to the interesting part of this chapter, as many many other topics before, let's start with the properties of limit. The first one is, if the function is a constant, then the value of the limit is also the same constant. Take a look at this example here. We want to find the value for a function when x is approaching 0. Now, which one is our function fx? Is it 0 or 4? This 0 is the approach value of x. That means our function here is fx equals to 4 which is a constant. Therefore, the limit of a constant function is the same constant. So the answer here is just 4. For the second properties here, if you have a constant, multiply with a function. So this will become C limit x approaching A for fx. We have constant 3 multiplied with function fx. Because of these properties, we can factorize 3 out and this will become 3 limit x approaching 2 fx. It is given here for limit when x approaching 2 for fx is equal to 3. Therefore, this becomes 3 multiplied by 3 and the answer is 9. In the next properties, if you want to find limit when x approaching a for a function fx plus or minus with another function gx, we can separate them to become two separate limit with the same approaching value. This will be limit x approaching a fx plus or minus with limit x approaching a for the function gx. See, the same approaching value, but we separate the limit for each function. Take a look at this example here. We have limit for x approaching 2 when fx plus with gx and we know that we can separate this to become limit x approaching 2 for fx plus limit x approaching 2 for gx and again from the given value here we know that limit for fx is equal to 3 and limit for gx here is negative 1 so substitute the value 3 plus with minus 1. So this is equal to 2. The same properties with number 4 and number 5. If the function is multiplied or in division, we can also separate them. But remember, they will always have the same approaching value. So in properties number 4, this one can be separated to become limit x approaching a for fx multiplied with limit x approaching a for gx. 
and for this properties number five this one can become limit x approaching a fx divided by limit x approaching a gx you need to remember that they always need to have the same approaching value take a look at these two examples this one in multiplication and this one is in division in multiplication as you can see from properties number four we can separate this one to become limit x approaching 2 fx multiplied by limit x approaching 2 gx so the limit for fx is 3 and the limit for gx is negative 1 so we have 3 multiplied by negative 1 and this is equal to negative 3 in the last example here this one use more than one properties because we have a constant here and we know that from properties number two we can factorize this constant and separate the division so this one can become 3 limit x approaching 2 for gx divide by limit x approaching 2 for fx and we know that the value for limit gx is equal to negative 1 and the value for limit fx is equal to 3 so the final answer for this one is negative 1 now i would like you to try this question here I'll hold the screen for 3 seconds. You can pause the video to work on the second example here. After 3 seconds, I'll give you the answers. So, 3 seconds starts now. Okay, now let's check your answer. So, the answer for the first one here by properties number 1, this is 3. The answer for number 2 here by properties number 2, you can factorize minus 4 out as it's a constant. And we know that the value for the limit p is 0. So this is equal to 0. For number 3, we can separate this. So this one become limit when x approaching 1 for qx minus with limit x approaching 1 for px. And from the value here, so we have 4 minus 0 and this is equal to 4. In question 4, we have two properties here. We have a constant and we have multiplication and from properties number two we know that this constant can be factorized out so you're going to have two and then limit for p is zero multiplied by limit for q that is four and the answer for this one is zero and the same with question number five the answer for this one is also zero so this is the end of this video in the next video, we will discuss how to find limits in several cases. Before you proceed to that, make sure to finish this exercise question to test your understanding. If you have any confusion, make sure to ask your lecturer straight away. So I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day and take care.